Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to bringing to the final episode of season three of Laid Back Camp. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Well, babe, you know, if you're ever really going to go outside, that's when you need a light. I ain't going to turn my flash on because next thing you know, I'll be like, oh my God. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I can't even believe we're already done with this. Like... It felt like this season, or really just, okay, not only this show, but this season in a nutshell went by really, really fast. Because normally, like, I, I don't know why, normally with spring to me, like spring anime, it goes by slow. I don't know. And then next thing you know, summer anime is the one that always goes by extremely fast. And the next thing you know, I'm like, where did the time go? But I think due to everything that I've been doing in this season <laughs> and working my butt off with everything else in my personal life. Jesus Christ. Life. <laughs> See, this is another reason why I will never do camping because of the fact. <laughs> fact is when you're alone at night your mind is chasing you the beware of bear sign oh my god remember you're supposed to like put your hands up and everything to scare them yeah I would rather be stuck in the bathroom until morning.
once again that looked so good oh my god Make that pasta too. And you win. Once again, she makes me want a scooter so freaking bad. But see, the worst thing is, if I ever go food shopping... Yeah, so that's also why I need a car. Well, yeah, food. Duh. <laughs> really? Yes, I I've heard that. Right? 
But would you eat it again? Right. <sighs> yeah, you guys are probably used to it and and that's okay. I had a feeling. Feel like, oh my god, my life is a total lie. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
She did a ton. <laughs> That is crazy. Yeah. She is gone. Thank God that they showed her. Because if they didn't, I would have been peeved. Oh, The girlfriends. With this moment between these two, it feels very much like episode one all over again from season one. And I like that. It's sweet. That's a plane, the ending now. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, final thoughts on this season. This season 
was literally just everything I wanted and more. Quality on the animation, once again, I love that they just upped it more. Even though it was a different studio, the new art style was very much like heartwarming and stuff. I love the fact that what they did, especially with the moment that we we saw in the new animation from season two, reanimated with the new stuff for this season. That was really good. And I love the fact that they did that because it's like here, we're like, even though brand new studio, brand new company doing this show, we still gotta do something to pay homage to the previous two seasons and such. Of course, it gives me my like, heartwarming homey vibes and comfort vibes and stuff and yes even though I am not one for camping and I'm not one with nature of course like I love this series so damn much it, it's so near and dear to my heart I love these characters I love seeing them go out and traveling and to get camp to go camping and to learn more about the environment I think it's really sweet and it also with the fact is that I watched the movie while this season was airing and to just see them all be even more excited and to get to see, like, them older and being more wiser. It's so sweet. I love that. I hate the fact that this is the last episode because who knows when we're going to get a season four. <laughs> I'm just trying to write this goal. <laughs> yep, gotta say hi and good morning to the girlfriend. But seriously, no, this season was very much heartwarming and everything that it did. Um, I always, I can't speak. I, I loved that with each and every single episode, we went from like a different POV. Very much how we did in season two. Um, because like season one very much was the Kirby and Rin show. I mean, and also featuring everybody else up until, you know, last couple episodes. But it established their relationship with this season and season two, it continues their relationship. Yes, we didn't get almost every single episode with Ren and Kirby hanging out, which I did love and I do miss. But when we did get to have those moments where those two were together, it just felt very wholesome and right. And it just makes me super happy for like whatever it is potentially for a possible season four that they want to do. I mean, yes, the movie also did that as well. There was a lot of Nadeshko and Rin moments that I loved so much. And seeing any time when those two get to hang out and they get to talk was really sweet. I love the fact that, you know, we got to see characters that, you know, I hadn't seen in a while. A.K.A. Kirby's sister because... She is still one of my best girls, and even though she is a supporting character in this series, having a moment where she just gets to come and just have a moment with her sister, or even her sister's girlfriend, <laughs> top freaking tier. I think the best episode was when <laughs> Aoi, Aki, and Anna <laughs> went on their camping trip, because anytime when they go on their camping trip... You know that it's going to be a long behind story, which is usually like a two or three parter episode, which I love because this is like anytime when they go camping, it's like, what really happened? What went wrong? So definitely 
I, I love those episodes of those three because they're just, they're a freaking hit and they're so freaking hilarious. And the one thing I really love about Aoi and Aki's, like, character and friendship, I I love the fact that, like, they're seiyus, especially because of the fact is, like, I really do wish, well, I think, I think her seiyu is a part of Idol, Idol Master. No, 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 no. Um, it's, uh, I think... Because what's your face is Mio, and the other one that is what's her face from K-On. So, the, you know, they they both act the same, and it's just like you love their dynamic and any time when they're around each other because they're just so freaking hilarious. But no, and, and then I love the fact is with the two new girls, we got to see them make an introduction or have the introduction, and then for them to also be at the same school with the girls. So hopefully we get to see some sort of action with them in a potential season four. But no, like everything about this was just very wholesome and sweet and adorable as fuck, and I loved it so freaking much. The new recipes for food that they made, of course, obviously made me hungry like always because no matter how many times I watch this freaking show, there is never a moment when they make something to eat, I get hungry. Because I'm already hungry now and I haven't even eaten lunch yet. But no, this was very, like, it was everything. Freaking everything and more. And I loved it. And I hate the fact that we are at the last episode because who knows when the hell we're going to go season four. And I need it, like, now. Please. That's all I freaking want. Like, oh my god, I just need it in my life. But... Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the entirety of season three of Laid Back Camp. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all later on in the week for the last couple of um, shows for spring anime. But then, of course, for eventually in, like, less than a week, the start of summer anime, as you see. I already have my list out. It is literally, once again, the shortest list that I have had and I'm like damn that's nuts and then somebody commented saying that like they're only listed for two and, and I'm like that I think that's surprising for a lot of us but you know it is what it is at the end of the day but until then I will see you guys all next time bye